The Visa Halftime Report is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere NFL fans want to be. And we'd like to welcome those of you who've been watching Washington and Jacksonville to the Visa Halftime. Right now, Washington leading it by the score of 21-16. Albert Connell, two touchdown catches, his first two of the year. Darrell Green, I miss you. After 125 straight games, you have to miss one because of the sprained cap. Brad Johnson doing a great job looking downfield. Everyone drops off deep, so he turns around and says, Albert Connell, bail me out. 11-yard touchdown reception, 14-10 watching it. Pumps again. All this does is get the corner to the outside, allows Connell to come to the inside. Hey, Albert Albert Connell, what happened? 49-yard touchdown reception. Man, the skin's looking awfully good first half. 21-16 to 16 over the Jaguars. And we give it enough props to Howie's Raiders. Tim Brown, two touchdown receptions. He's got six in his last five games. Jerome Bettis goes over 9,000 yards rushing. <laughs> Kent Graham benched in favor of Cordell Stewart. 13-0 Steelers. Kurt Warner suffered a broken finger on his throwing hand. He's out four to six weeks. Most points by the Chiefs since 1966. Panthers, George Seifert now 4-0 against his old squad, the 49ers. Jimmy Kimmel's upset pick. Ha! Give him credit, huh? Got to. Hey, are you still on the Saints bandwagon? Saints bandwagon. I'm the one bailing them out. They're 4-3 now, looking awfully good. Ricky Williams now five straight 100-yard rushing games. Cowboys' largest margin of victory since 1980, 48 points, 48-7 over the Cardinals. Eagles, 13 tonight. Hey, yeah, how about this job right here by the good man up there? Nice little Andy Reid doing a good job coaching. And Donovan McNaught carrying it up pretty nicely as well. Vikings pull it out 31-27. Your guy, who did you play with? Gary Anderson, 2004 points in 19 season. He breaks the all-time scoring record held by George Blanda, who played 26. Andrew and James Powers are close to victory, and the Titans knock off the Ravens. Ravens have now not scored a touchdown in four consecutive games. Slow down, JB. Uh oh Chris. Slow down, Chris. Call it, right. call it, Chris. The Bengals 31, the Broncos 21. Corey Dillon with a new single-game rushing record, breaking Walter Payton. And who held? Who also held the rushing record for rookies? Corey Dillon, Dillon in right. Cincinnati. Oh. Washington, Jacksonville. Well, you know, although Jacksonville, Brunel has been sacked four times, I think they're doing a much better job, especially in the interior three of protecting the quarterback, which is allowing that titan battle out there between Bazelli and Bruce Smith to occur. And it's allowing Brunel the opportunity to step up in the pocket. And what a uh, difference breaking off contracts talks make in, in, uh, in Brad Johnson's arm. Boy, he's throwing the ball down the football field. <laughs> <laughs> little secret motivation. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I'd have it. You know, Jacksonville came into this game allowing 32 sacks of Mark Brunel already this season. Four in the first half of this game. You talked to Keenan McCardell. And... And he absolutely has said that he doesn't get a chance to run his routes down the route as well as he would like to. He has to break them off. Go ahead, JB. Some to local news, others back for Corey Dillon's record breaker and Kansas City's victory over St. Louis. <laughs> 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 <laughs>